friends, happy new vlog. Right now we are headed off to do one of my New Year's resolutions, which is to volunteer at least once a month. I always volunteer through LA Works. I'll leave it linked down below. But it is basically a volunteer site where they have so many different organizations and special events you can volunteer for. I'll also leave a couple of vlogs linked down below of some of the other ones I've done. I've done tree plantings. I've done some like Christmas gifting ones. But today we are headed to a food pantry for people with HIV and AIDS. So I think today we're just gonna be packing dry goods, kind of just um, assembling grocery bags for this organization, which I'll also leave link down below because I want to volunteer more in this new year. I think I only did six volunteer events last year and I want to do 12 this year. So I'm walking there now. Actually, it's really hot. Hang on. Okay, I'm walking there now. I have a banana that I'm going to eat. And then this is a, a reusable Starbucks cup. I didn't go and get Starbucks. That's another New Year's resolution. Don't get Starbucks unnecessarily as much. Unless I go to Target. More, more indie mom and pop coffee shops. That's, that'll be the rule. So I'm going to drink this and then let's go volunteer. So here's what we're doing. We're distributing bread, tortillas, these bags of non-perishable goods as well as vegetables. So they kind of just come down like an assembly line and gather what they need. So it's been pretty chill so far. Um, basically they pre-order their food items and then they come through my line and I hand them a dry goods bag, ask them if they want bread or tortillas, and then just have like a nice little interaction with them. Kind of just brighten their day, which I'm really good at. Kind of reminds me of my ice cream scooping job of just those small little interactions. But it's nice how appreciative people are and it's nice to give back. Um, so I might come and volunteer here again. It's been super chill. I'm here for three hours and like right now we don't have a line. Nobody's really here. So kind of comes and goes in waves, but get out there and volunteer because it does make a difference for other people and you're just making their day and helping them out and it helps you out in return. Um, so I have, I think another hour left and then we're gonna head back home. So it's a new day and I'm hosting a little party tonight with my Follow Me friends. So Follow Me is the reality show that I just filmed. Uh, make sure to check out my main channel video for all the details on that. So we'll be hanging out tonight because I will be making a big ass charcuterie board. So you guys may have seen this on my main channel last year. I'll also leave that link down below, but I made a charcuterie table. So my entire dining room table was completely filled with cheese and accoutrements. And the reason for that is every Christmas, my dad has this tradition of just buying me a bunch of cheese for my present. And the idea is that it's to have people over and to, I don't know, be more social. So this Christmas was no different. He got me a bunch of cheeses and meats, and then I picked up some other fruits and some other little things. So I wanted to invite these friends over just for like a fun little wine and charcuterie board night. Now, I don't know if we're allowed to be hanging out, I don't know how much we're allowed to say about the show. I don't know if we're allowed to post photos with each other even, uh, but we're going to because we're content creators. We're gonna make content tonight. I told them to save a bunch of TikTok sounds because we're just gonna be making videos all night long and having fun, maybe getting a little, little wine tipsy, we'll see. But right now I'm going to prep the charcuterie board. They'll be here in two hours, but I just wanna make sure that the cheese is all cut up. Everything is like mostly assembled so that way I can just put it out. I also bought a couple of other apps, but let me show you what we have. We got our meats over here. You gotta have a sweet element. So I got some fruit and some little jellies. We have our hard cheeses, our soft cheeses, and of course crackers. So going to assemble all of this and have a fun little night. I got two because we have soft cheeses over here that you got to cut. I put out some little glasses and some nice tableware from my sister's bachelorette party that I continue to reuse. 
We got plates and wine glasses. They're bringing the wine bottles though. So those will go here. I have some more apps coming out and Olivia's making a dip. So I'll show you the completed table once they get here and then I'll introduce you to my friends, but came out pretty cute today. So I forgot to finish my charcuterie board night because I ended up hanging out with people, but I'm here with Oscar with our leftovers Woo! so we can eat the rest of the cheese. And then Oscar's gonna give us a lovely PowerPoint later of all of his travels. So we're gonna eat this now. I hate money. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> because I'm just burning through all my cash. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so Oscar just got back from Vienna, Budapest, Kenya, Tanzania, and Dubai. So he's gonna give us a little PowerPoint presentation of all of his photos and everything he went. Also, he just has boxes of stuff because he just moved back from San Francisco and I'm taking these ears. <laughs> all right, presentation time. It was like random knickknacks. This was like the food center up top was like the more of the like knickknacks and stuff. That's a lion right there. <laughs> <laughs> It was like right fucking there. They're just like hanging out like, yeah, it's my day. Oh my day. gosh. And they're just chilling, like not even acknowledging you. Right. But yeah. It's Look at like the elephants. Little and... fucking baby elephants. So goddamn gorgeous. And... So I just got my Newly box delivered. And if you aren't familiar, I rent my clothes through Newly. If you're interested, you guys can go and check out my main channel video where I talk all about it. I tried on one item and then I was like, wait, I have to record this because this is such an interesting box of clothes that I got. And one of the main reasons for that is by renting your clothes, you're kind of gambling a little bit because they are used clothes. Other people are using them. I'm looking over here because I'm looking at like the pile on my bed. But what, what's also interesting is that a lot of times I sort by new. So they incorporate thousands of clothes into Newly, And I always sort by new because you can save items. And I was like, well, I've already seen the rest. Let me sort by new and see what else is new. But the gamble with that is that there are no reviews yet. So you don't know. I should also mention that user reviews are really important on sites like these because people will tell you like, hey, size up, size down. This one has a long torso. This one, the material feels cheap. So the user reviews are so helpful. And I got a lot of items that were new and I don't know if they're gonna work out. So let me show you. So this first one is from Free People and it is a size medium. And because it has the tags on it, I'm the first one to wear it, which is always kind of nice. But this one fits horribly. So. I'll leave the screenshot right here, but it's supposed to be a jumpsuit. And based on the photo, I thought it was gonna be denim, but it's definitely more like jegging material. It's really stretchy, which if that was the case, I would have sized down because this is so ill-fitting. It basically has the longest torso I've ever seen. Like my boobs would have to be up here, but when this happens, it falls down and I feel like I'm Princess Diana actually or Sandy from Greece, I can't tell. But the torso is so long on this that I was trying to play with it and I would literally have to roll it up two inches and maybe belt it. And even then it's just too big, it's just too long of a torso for me. So this one was a fail, but I'll, I actually got several jackets. So I'll keep this on while I show you the jackets, but it is January. And it's not that cold in Los Angeles, but I wanted to get jackets that are in my color scheme of my Instagram. And these ones are interesting too. So I got this baby blue peacoat also from Free People and also brand new tags. So first one to wear this. This one I love the color of because it's very me. The length is a little dramatic for LA, I'll be honest. But this is a size small and it feels too big. Like. I don't know, I like my jackets very small. Like I would wish, I wish it was right here. Like the buttons were six inches over. So pretty big, but I can still make this work for at least a couple of photos. But again, with no user reviews, you don't know if you should size up or size down. So this one was too big. And then here's another jacket that I got. What's interesting about this one, maybe I just don't read the description well enough. I thought this was gonna be blazer material, but it's actually a really heavy coat. It's very nice, not what I expected, but I love the color. The length is long, but again, it's for winter, so it's okay. But this is another one where it's a size small and it's just 
very bulky. Like, I, I feel like that meme of Jimmy Fallon wearing Shaq's jacket because that's how big this one feels. But again, I'll get some photos out of it. If I go out, I at least have a jacket, but something to keep in mind when you're getting the new ones that you don't know how they're gonna fit. But this one is interesting because this next one is on the complete opposite spectrum. So this one, I saw this jacket and I loved it. Look how worn this one is in terms of color compared to this one. This definitely looks a lot older, a lot more pre-loved, and it's not the bright mustardy color I was looking for, but I love this jacket. I think this one fits the best. It is snug, it is warm, and I like the crop of it. So I will definitely get use out of this, but interesting to see the different types of clothes you can get. And similarly will be these pants. I really like these pants because I like statement pieces, but similar to the jacket, they're very worn. They are definitely more of a gray than kind of a white tone. So another one that's very, very pre-loved. I will still absolutely wear these. I love the fit of them. That's a big tag. They fit me like a glove. I love the that they're not skinny jeans. So really like these, but again, just a little bit more worn. And then the last one I got is this top. I like more statement pieces and this one is on the more tame side, but I needed more green for a few more Instagram photos. So I'll get used out of this. I don't know if I would wear these together, but just for the sake of doing one outfit change. These are the last two items. So again, newly, is a crapshoot. I'll be able to use all of these for photos, which is the main reason why I rent my clothes because content creation is my job. Uh, but some of them are just not as great as I would have hoped. My hair is crazy right now. Um, so that's my newly haul. <laughs> but before I end this vlog, I wanted to mention that my mental health hasn't been all of that great recently. Um, if you're new to the vlogs, I do have bipolar disorder. It is something that I continue to struggle with. I actually recently just upped my medication because the dosage still wasn't right. So it's absolutely still an ongoing process and something that I'm still learning to cope with. But I bring this up because that's not something you may see in these vlogs because if I'm in a depressive episode, if all I'm doing is scrolling on TikTok or crying, I'm not really gonna pick up my phone and be like, let me vlog this. Um, so I think it's important to talk about because that is something that is going on behind the scenes, but it's not something that you guys would necessarily see, but it is something that feels inhibiting to my day-to-day -day life because in this new year, I have so many new goals. I'm trying to do a certain amount of content pieces per week. I'm trying to incorporate social aspects of my life. And sometimes it feels very overwhelming. In recent weeks, I feel like I've just felt overwhelmed by family and friends where they text me like, what are you doing next weekend? And I'm like, ah, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. And I'm finding it harder to just text back or return phone calls. And I feel like because it feels overwhelming, it starts to accumulate and then I feel like a failure. And so I sink even further into not being able to do anything because I almost can't catch up. And so it's been a weird couple of weeks and I don't wanna isolate myself when those things happen, which is why I'm really glad this past week, which you saw in the vlog, I got to hang out with my show friends and catch up with them because I haven't seen them since filming stopped. I got to see my best friend Oscar, which always lightens my mood because he's one of my best friends and I love hanging out with them. I also got to see some friends and family. I got to see Noodles this week, which was great. And so if I focus on just, you know, surrounding myself with loved ones and family members more, hopefully it will distract me from any of the mental health issues that I've been having. Um, but that's easy for me to say. It's also hard because a lot of people that I surround myself with, they don't struggle with mental health issues. So despite them being super supportive, it's not something that they understand. And so it's an ongoing process. And this year I have not only a lot of content goals, but mental health goals. So just wanted to keep you guys updated that that might be going on behind the scenes and you won't necessarily see it, but it's important to talk about because so many of us struggle with mental health and we're all here to cope and commiserate together. But that's gonna be it for this blog. A little scatterbrained and just kind of clips here and there, but I do have a lot more fun as well as tame events coming up. So make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, but I will see you guys in the next vlog. Toodles!